So Outdoors here and today we're going to be taking a look on how to use the Venom Pro 3 charger. So right now I have a 2 cell 2000 milliamp hour 35C light bulb just hooked up. Just thought I'd get that out. Alright, so this charger is the exact same of the Pro Quad. Everything is the exact same. But since you guys clicked on here, I'm going to go ahead and explain everything. If you guys don't see something in this video that you think is in this charger, Go ahead and check out my Pro Quad charger because it has the same operating um, procedures as the Pro Quad. But this is just a single channel. So when you fire it up, you'll be at the user set program. To change through these screens, you're going to go ahead and press the select stop button. You'll have program select lithium battery meter. This will measure the, um, the uh, capacity of your battery. So if you want to do that, press enter. It'll measure your volume. As you can see, I have 3.82 in each cell. To go back, go ahead and press select. Then you'll have program select uh, lipo battery, nickel model hydride battery, nickel cadmium battery, lead acid battery, save data, and load data. So we're going to go ahead and go through the user setup. So press enter to select this. Now, all the batteries that you can use are right here. So you have lipo, lithium ion, and lithium iron phosphate. This battery or this charger will not charge lithium high voltage like the uh, Venom Pro Quad. That is the only uh, difference between them. Other than the, um, this can only charge one battery at once. So back to the screen. Press Enter to change through these. Go ahead and press Increase. You'll have your lithium polymer, lithium ion, and uh, lithium iron phosphate. Check time uh, five minutes. Just leave that right there for now. Uh, the nickel model hydride sensitivity, uh, just leave this at default. Same with the nickel cadmium sensitivity. The safety temp, the safety temp cutoff is 80 degrees Celsius. You can either lower it or raise it. Uh, if the charger ever re reaches this temperature, uh, the charging will be cut off and the charger will go into um, just a standby mode. And then once it cools off, it will re it'll, uh, restart charging. Then you have your waste time. This is uh, when you are cycling a nickel metal high drive. So you can do one to five cycles. So every time it gets done with the cycle, if you want it to waste time before it goes on to the next cycle, uh, that's where you set it. If you do not want it to waste time at all, you can set it at zero or you can go all the way up to 60 minutes. Then you have your safety timer. So if it ever gets to 240 minutes of charging, it will automatically stop charging. That is four hours. Capacity cutoff, 10,000 milliamp hours. Uh, this is a seven amp charger. So if you put in a um, 11,000 milliamp hour battery, for example, it will not charge up to there unless you raise this. Key beep buzzer, uh, the beep is what you hear me uh, pressing the buttons. The buzzer is when it gets done charging. Input power low. Uh, for the DC, it will cut charging off when it gets done, or when it gets down to 10 volts in the DC end. It will stop charging and shut the charger off until it has a high enough voltage to begin charging again. And then you're back at the screen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and walk through how to charge a lithium polymer battery without going through the load data. So go ahead and press select to go back, press select again, and again, you'll go to this. So lipo bat, press enter. Now, as you can see, it has the highest this charger will charge. So it'll charge a six cell at seven amps. So to go ahead and change this stuff, we're gonna go ahead and charge this battery at two amps, which is what it is. Now this battery can be charged at 10 amps, which is 5C, that is the max approved charge rate. Now we're gonna go down to 2S, and we're gonna press and hold to save. Now, it will have the start. If these two numbers match, this is what the charger reads. This is what uh, you put in. These match. Go ahead and press enter, and it will begin charging. To stop charging, just press the select stop. Up here, it will have the voltage of the battery, the amps that it is currently pumping, the time that it is has been charging, and the milliamp it's pumped in. So now, you can change between lipo charge, lipo balance, lipo fast charge, and lipo storage and lipo discharge. So to do the balance, 
what you'll do is press this, raise it up to two amps, and then take it down to however many cell battery you want, or you have. Press and hold, battery check, these two numbers match, you'll begin charging, now it is doing a balance. As you can see, it's got balance here. So go ahead and stop. Now we'll go to the next one, which is fast charge. So, if you have a fast charge capable battery, go ahead and knock it up as high as this will go, or as high as the charger will go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 7 hours, just to start off. So fast charge, I will check, 2 cell, now I'm charging, and it's going to start pumping a lot of juice through. Now, when you're charging at max amp, max amperage, uh, make sure you do have a lipo cell. Now, we're going to do storage. So to do storage, what we'll do is this charger can either uh, do 0.1 to 1 amps for storage. Now you're going to change down to your battery, press and hold. Excuse me, excuse me there is a uh, helicopter coming over, so if it gets loud, that's why. Uh, if these match, go ahead and press this, and it will start lowering the amps, or start lowering the voltage of the battery until it is at a uh, storage storage voltage or it will raise it if it needs to. So go ahead and stop that. Now discharge. You can lower your battery all the way until it is at uh, 3.2, 3.4, whatever you set your charger. Um, or actually I believe it is at 3.3 volts. So go ahead and you cannot change this anymore. Uh, it is 0.1 to 1 amps. So press enter. Change the, change the cell of the battery. Press and hold, it'll do a battery check, and then if everything checks out, it'll go ahead and begin. And that is it for this screen. Now, it is all the same for lithium ion, lithium polymer, and lithium iron phosphate. So that's how that screen works. Now go back. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the nickel metal hydride. Press enter. You can either do nickel metal hydride charge, discharge, cycle, and I believe that is it. So to do a charge, let's go ahead and disconnect this lithium polymer battery. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my Arma 2000 milliamp hour 7.2 volt battery. Now to do this, what we're going to go ahead and do is, if it's a charge, you're going to change the amperage to where you're going to charge at, which is 2 amps for this battery. Press and hold. Everything checks out. We we'll go ahead and start charging. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. Now you can also do discharge. So it'll automatically discharge it, whatever it needs to be. Uh, one amp. You set the amperage, and it does everything by itself. So battery check, and you're discharging your pack. Uh, the cycling. You can either do charge discharge or discharge to charge, and you can do this up to five times, or as little as one time. Now the waste time is between each cycle, so once it gets done with one, it'll move on to the next one after a certain amount of time that you set. So to do this, we go ahead and press enter, battery check, if everything checks out, it's gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, so charge to discharge. Right now I do believe that it is charging. Yes, it is charging, and then once it gets to its uh, peak voltage, it will go ahead and uh, start discharging. Now, as you can see, this is your uh, screen once it gets done. So, if I were to do five charge cycles, it will show how many it put in and how many it discharged after each cycle. Cycle two, cycle three, cycle four, and cycle five. So, exit this, go ahead and press that. And this is this, and then the current. So, if you want to charge, this is back to the screen. Now, this is the same for nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium. So now I'll go back, and then it will go to the, uh, actually, you can help. now it'll go to the nickel cadmium. Everything is the exact same. Uh, lead acid battery, so if you were to charge a lead acid, what you can do is you can change the amperage all the way up to 7 amps. And whatever the voltage of your pack, or of your um, lead acid battery is. Um, I do not have any lead acid batteries, but I will show you guys how to do this. Uh, so to change the... Uh, the maximum voltage is uh, 20 volts for this charger. Minimum voltage is 2 volts. So to do this, I'm just going to disconnect this. 
and then just press and hold enter and then it'll do a battery check and then as a safety feature so if it does not read any battery is connected or a connection break it will go ahead and do that now that was the buzzer that you will hear when the charger is done charging also now for lead acid you can do charge just and discharge um, both the same uh, pack is what you have and then the amps is the highest so now we're going to go ahead and go through save data so you do not have to have any batteries uh, connected so we'll go ahead and disconnect all batteries for this so what you'll do is you'll press enter now you have up to five saves on this charger so you can have save one save two save three save four save four and save five so we'll go ahead and chart or save my 5000 milliamp hour two cell lipo on this channel so go ahead and press enter it is a lithium polymer the voltage of the pack is a 7.4 and the milliamp is a 5000 milliamp hour so when you charge it you will uh, so i charge my battery at five amps and then this is all the same so then i'll save it and that is on that one now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to change or save this battery to channel 4. So press enter, go up to channel 4, or whatever channel you'd like to save, whatever pack you have on. Now you can do lithium polymer, lead acid, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, or you can um, do your uh, lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate, but go back to your Schubert, um, use your save data, and change that to the, um, change that to whatever battery. So then you press this. Now the voltage of this pack is still a two cell. The maximum milliamp hours that this battery holds is 2000. So I'll run it down to 2000. Now this battery, I will be charging at 3C. So as you can see, the charge current, I will have set at six amps for this battery. If I was not charging at 3C, I'd have it at two amps. So that's how you do the save data. Um, it is the same for the nickel model hydride, you just walk through that. Um, so now what I'm going to show you guys how to do is load data. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this battery in. Go ahead and get my little extender. Uh, you can pick these up for about uh, $3 for about a set of 10 of them off of eBay. You, have, you can have a uh, 2 cell, 3 cell, 4, 5, and 6 cell. Uh, these leads are very nice because instead of your battery being right next to your charger and it cannot really fit in a lipo sack safely you can go ahead and have this and you can fit it in a lipo sack a lot easier so to load data go and press enter go up to the save that you want to load the data from press and hold enter it'll load it 6 amp 7.4 volt we'll do a battery check these two numbers match go ahead and start and we'll go ahead and We'll just go ahead and stop it since we're not going to uh, charge it right now. So that is it on how to use the Venom Pro 3. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, remember to leave them down in the comments below, and I will be sure to get back to you. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will also leave a link to this charger down in the description below. Of course, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.